Hey, what's up, everyone? Just wanted to do a quick update video on the 135 um, HAP only tank. Uh, just gonna give you a little overview, catch some of these fish so you can take a look. Right here, obviously, we've got the Venustas. He's looking good. He's one of the one of the biggest ones in the tank, about seven inches right now. A little bit subdominant. Got a couple living stony here. There's the subdominant male. I got a dominant male in here too. These are all about seven inches. Let's see if I can find that dominant one here. He's high. There he is. You see, he's got a nice blue body to him. Darkens up a lot when he gets aggressive. But he's not too bad. A peacekeeper. And down here we got a Placidochromis Malomo VC10. It's a female. Uh, she's probably about five, six inches or so. Pretty nice. I was thinking she was a male when she was younger, but never really colored in the blue, so pretty set on a female. Right, back there we got the Dragon Blood Peacock. No, it's not a not a hat, but a little too aggressive for the for my peacock tank, so threw him in here. Adds a nice color to the to the hat tank. He's hiding now. Uh, the other awesome one here, big guy, is a uh, uh, Placidochromis Phenochylus Tanzania. Also called a star sapphire. It's pretty nice. Got a real nice deep blue. Starting to get the specks on the top. And of course, as they get closer to full maturity, you know, the specks will take over his entire body. Really, really great looking fish. See, I obviously got a bunch of dolphins here. I got a group of about five uh, maturing ones. They're all about five inches or so, four to five inches. I got two smaller ones as well, about two inches a piece. They're a little skittish hiding in this tank with some of the bigger ones in here. Not sure what the ratio is of the male to female for them, but I think there's at least three females. So, all right. See what else we can find here? Got a Frontosa back there. Uh, not sure the variant. Just picked it up from the local fish store, but had this one for a while. He's pretty cool. All uh, right, here we got a. Auto Pharynx Lithobates, uh, Z Rock, Yellow Blaze. This guy's pretty awesome. Just got him pretty recently. Got a nice color to him already. He's about maybe three and a half inches, four inches. Nice skinny body with the bright yellow on the dorsal. Let's see what else we got here. This is another one I got it recently, isn't it? Under assorted. I'm not really sure of the species. At first, I thought with the blotch pattern it was a, a Z Rock Yellow Blaze. It just hadn't uh, hadn't quite colored up, but I'm starting to think it might be something different. Can't really tell. You can see it's it do, does look like a male. It's got a nice stripe on the dorsal, a pretty fairly pointed anal fin with some with some egg spots, but still not sure. So if anyone's got any ideas, you know, please please let me know what you think. Here's another one uh not quite sure about. Another assorted one. Got a good deal on some assorted males, so figured I'd take a shot on it. Still trying to stock up the tank. Uh, let's see what else we got. Right, over here we got a we got a compressiceps, Dimitrochromus compressiceps, Malawi eye biter. Doesn't want to look at me. He's looking at me straight on right now. But pretty young. Still not sure, male or female. And here we got the Red Empress. Still a little young, hasn't quite colored, but starting to get a little bit of color on the on the fins. But, you know, pretty popular fish. Gonna look pretty awesome when it's full. Uh, here we got a Aristochromus Christii, also called a Hawk, Malawi Hawk Cichlid. This guy's pretty awesome. He's starting to get some color to him. Uh, got him a little, about, when he was about an inch shorter, he was Pretty calm, but he's starting to get a little aggressive as he's getting some size on him. But pretty cool fish. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, here's another recent one. It's a trout cichlid, uh, Chapsochromus uh, chiruleus, I believe. But Malawi trout or trout cichlid. It's a pretty young one. He's only about maybe four inches right now. Real thin, torpedo-like body. Swims really fast. He and the uh, the hawk have had a couple chasing battles so far. Uh, right there, you got a Nimbochromus, the Fusco. This guy's still pretty young, but already showing some blue, so he's going to be a pretty nice male when he grows up. Sorry, lighting's a little hard to see him right now. He's pretty good. He's a 
some sort of, I, I believe this one's a protomelas. I'm just not sure what kind of, what species per se. I do have a tangerine tiger in here. It's got a little bit more of the vertical barring than this one, so I don't think it's quite the same. But it's another one I'm not exactly sure on the species. I got two of them just like this, actually. So, again, if anyone has any ideas, please feel free to post a comment on there what you think. Uh, there, that one looks like an Electra. It's a young one. Might be a female based on the lack of the barring. But starting to get some decent blue, kind of a light blue or purplish color almost. But pretty neat fish. Still one of the smaller ones in the tank, so... Well, I think that's most of them. I got a cut. Hey, here's one of the smaller dolphins down here. Uh, I do have two catfish in here. I got one of the larger feather fins. This guy's fat. He eats like crazy. So he's, pr he's pretty big. Probably about the same size as the uh, living stony. About seven inches, maybe a little more. And I do have one other one back here. Not sure if you can see him. It's a Cynodonus hybrid. Uh, Kind of spotted a lot like the uh, multipunctatus, but it got the body shape of the feather fin. I think they're called a Eupterus or Eupterus. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but you know, he's got that that body type, so he's getting pretty big. Well, there's a good look at the uh, tangerine tiger. He's just starting to get some some blue and color to his body. I uh, recently did a water change and, and changed around the rocks a little bit, made it a little bit more open. I don't know if you saw my first video. Definitely had the rocks stacked up, had a lot more rock in there. And I decided to uh, move the rocks out away from the back wall a little bit. A little bit more open space for them to swim around and through the rocks rather than hide behind them. I really like the, uh, the change in the demeanor. You can tell they're a lot more active. A little bit less aggression now that they're all out in the open. So it's, it's going pretty well. I do have a, a lack of lighting right now. I only have these two light fixtures on the top. I got a 30 inch that was off of a 30 gallon and I got a 24 inch two bulb. I'm saving up right now so that I can buy a couple LED fixtures. Really brighten this tank up, give a nice shimmer effect and everything. So anyway, that's the update on my 135. I'll be sure to take a couple more videos, you know, as it as it evolves, as all tanks do. So thanks for checking it out. Uh, sub if you like what you see, but always comments are welcome, and especially if you've got any ideas on a couple of those unidentifieds. You know, I'm sure as they as they color up and grow, we'll have a better idea, but for now, it's just a waiting game, I guess. So, all right, everyone, take care.